because we understand that education is the most important civil right. They see the walk, they see the talk, they see the dress, they react to that. What I try to do is look beyond that and try to imagine that kid at six or seven years old when that student thought to him or herself, I can be a doctor, I can be a lawyer, I can do whatever it is that I want. That's what I try to do, is to just look at that child and understand that that child has hopes, dreams, goals, and aspirations. I was that child. I was that happy little kid at six, seven, eight years old that transformed into an angry teenager at 14, 15, and 16. Fortunately for me, I had people that saw past my anger at 14, 15, 16 years old. They saw past that and they saw, you know, who I am and, and who I can be. And they created opportunities, opened doors for me. And all I do in the work that I do is to pass that on to other young people today. You know, it's easy to give up on a kid, especially if that kid's, you know, misbehaving or, or, or presenting a negative image. It's easy to give up on that. But my thought is, we can't give up on our young people. And when I hear teachers make statements about our young people, that young student is not worth my time or that kid's destined to drop out, or that kid's destined to go to jail, or that kid's destined to join a gang. That kid's beyond my help. I can't reach that kid. I can't help that kid. It's troubling to me. It's tr How dare you give up on that kid? How dare you give up on that kid? How was that kid? And I turned out all right. I turned out all right.